Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be doing leak code 1282, group the people given the group size they belong to. So there are n people that are split into some unknown number of groups, each person is labeled zero to n minus one. So this is a lot of gibberish here. I'm just gonna take the test case and start explaining what the question is asking right away. And the problem link is in the description, so you can always just check it out. So we have these people and I'm gonna put the indexes or the indices underneath. So we have the indices here. And basically, this is the zeroth person, this is the oneth person, et cetera, et cetera. So the zeroth person belongs in group three. So let's have these being the groups that they belong to. So the zeroth person is here, the oneth person is here, the two, the second, and the third. So, and the fourth. And then here we have group size of one. So we get to here and person number five uh, belongs in group one. So that's there and then we get here and person number six belongs in group three. So basically these are our groups and if we look at these compared to the output it's kind of what we want uh, but they have to be grouped in the group size. So really we'll group these like this. So this one five is right here and then this zero one two is right here and this three four six is right here. So to achieve this logic we want to have what we're doing right here, what I showed right here is how we're going to solve this problem. And you'll see this kind of looks like a hash map, and that's because it is a hash map. So we're going to map an integer to a list of integers, and these are going to be our group buckets. So the integer will be the group size, and this list will be the people that belong in that group size. So we'll call this a map, and we'll go uh, new hash map. And then the next thing we want to set up our output array. So this is going to be a list of lists of type integer and we're just going to make this an empty list for now and we're going to return it at the end because we know we want to return this. So now what do we want to do? We want to fill this with the groups basically. So let's go through, so we're past group sizes, let's go through the group sizes then and actually let's go ahead and do so. Now, so to make this more clear, I'm going to get the person. So the person is the index and the group size they belong to is the current group size. So the group size is at I. So basically this person belongs in a group of group size. So now what we want to do is we want to check the map. Does this group size exist? If so, we want to get it. That is because that would mean that there's currently a group that's mapped to this group size. So let's do that and let's call this group. So we want to get the current group and let's go get or default because it might not exist yet. And let's go group size. And then what do we want to do if it doesn't exist? Well, if it doesn't exist, let's just create an empty array. So now we're going to just simply add this person to that group because they belong in that group. Now. What do we want to do here? Now that we have this, um, we could just add this group to the result array, but the problem is, is that they need to be in their group sizes and there's six threes. So it'll actually be two groups of three here. So to achieve this kind of logic, um, what we want to do, and after we add this, we actually want to put it back in the map. So, and you'll see why we want to do that in a second. So we're going to put this back in the map and we're gonna put the group mapping it to its group size. Now what we wanna do here is we wanna check the group size. Now, if it is equal to group size, this means we're at max capacity because if we're at, so if we're at group size three and we're at three, we don't wanna add another one because that would be over capacity. So what we actually do here, this means we're at max capacity, what we want to do is we not only want to add this group to the result because that means we're done with this group, we can clear the bucket. We not only want to add it, but we also want to remove the current group size from the map. That's so that when we come to the next one, the next bucket, it'll start filling it again and we'll just keep resetting it. So this is all the logic we need, pretty straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and run this. And You'll see, I hope somebody caught that, but actually I called that a group, but it should be a list. 
Let's go ahead and run it again. And there we go, we have accepted. Let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go. So pretty straightforward, I hope this was helpful. Um, this is one of the easier mediums, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it as always.